Good evening, we are at the tool grinding stall in Imtex 2015 and we are talking to Mr. Prabhu. They've launched a new product here. We'll know more about this product from Mr. Prabhu himself. Yes, uh, this is a new machine. We, in fact, this was launched in uh, 2013 Imtex. Okay. And uh, now in the last two years we have commercialized that. And this machine is a tool grinder, 5-axis tool grinder. And this new configuration is all about you know high technology like torque motors, a double spindle, a high level of protection for this, good software, different type of tools. So we have uh, we have sold this machine after the launching in 2013 to customers like OSG. Okay. It's a Japanese company, and OSG has standardized their future production all these machines because they have a big plant in Kolkata, they have a plant in Chennai, they have a plant in Pune for reshaping our machine. Second thing is very another Japanese customer, Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi Rani Pet, we have given one more machine last year for a very spe unique special application. And they said today, I could say, the, uh, the chairman of uh, Mitsubishi was here today from Japan, and they have given me a next project for brooch manufacturing, something like that. So this particular configuration with uh, all the specification is catching up now. And we, in our factory, we have a tech center, a demo center wherein we are using the same machine which we launched in last 2013. And since two years, we are monitoring the performance of that machine. Based on that, this is commercialized. So, this machine is running very well and uh, I feel uh, most of the Indian customers looking at this, our own existing customers as well as newcomers would prefer this machine over our previous machines and it's basically changed after nine years of first production. Okay. This, is, this change has happened after 9 years of first production. So in the 9 years we have almost uh, uh, 75 machines of previous design. So this changeover has happened after 9 years. So this will be our future production. Tool grinding has itself come a long way. Yeah. The way it started and t today it has kind of evolved if I could say that. You want to say something about this growth of the company? See tool grinding started, uh, okay long back with a couple of German uh, and uh, Swedish companies in right. India. Yeah. But later uh, tool grinding uh, people wanted as manufacturing started more and more in India. Definitely the tier 2, tier 3 companies wanted this sort of a high tech tool, tools readily available in a quick short of time at locally available in those respective industrial areas. Okay. So how do we do it? Sitting over one or two cities concentrating on large uh, production houses, they were not able to respond quickly. So that was the first need which made uh, the tool grinding industry to look at the second player, second level players. And that's where uh, machines requirements started coming. And uh, the perception about tool grinding changed when it's indigenized in India first. This, this indigenization happened in this machine somewhere in 1989. 89 Imtex, uh, our uh, competitors you know, or whatever predecessors, so Vidya first made the machine. And the credit goes to them, the who indigenized this machine here. Otherwise, probably nobody would have put uh, their hand into this. And uh, then, uh, of course, uh, they have been doing this, and we started this doing somewhere in the year 2004. So, since 2004, around 100 machines we have sold, and uh, we have good customers uh, like I told you, Tata's and uh, Volvo, Aisher, and all these plants. We are able to say ordnance factories. It's very important rifle for us. Factory. Yes, rifle factory, gun and shell factory. This machine is there. So the tool making and the specialty tool making and regrinding. Because regrinding, this theme of regrinding started in India somewhere around 10 years back. Before that, the regrinding services were not available. So what people buy somewhere from the bigger multinationals companies then use and throw. No question of regrinding and all that. As the cost competition and the competitiveness began on the auto component sector, so everybody started looking at this field. Why are we, you know, carpet is so precious, why don't we regrind it? Where are the regrinding centers? They are not available. Correct. Neither the OEM are able to give that kind of a service because of logistics and uh, all those things. So this is again where we come into picture. Where all small and medium scale tool making companies started with the regrinding first. With that they could know what is tool making, what is regrinding, geometry, this, that, services and slowly, gradually graduate over to tool manufacturing. Because tool manufacturing needs some more set of machines, some more set of technology. So this is how the Indian scenario. But today if you really look at it decade by decade, the maturity levels are very high. You can get all type of tools done over here. You need not 
maybe 5% of the very special tools today we are importing. Otherwise, 95% of the tools still you can produce in India. That is the status. Thank you, Mr. Prabhu. Thank you for your time and we wish you all the best for Imtex. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.